Patrol log, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed. Wiped it off. Gross. Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, but I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creatures still dead, cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. Oh, wait now, what's this? A rock! I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. End log. Bro, now I want to go get the penguin to get the cure. And this is what you didn't do, because I watched you go. I think you just never rode up here and found out that you could really like. I don't think I ever went into this cave. I don't recognize any of this. Unless this specifically... Ooh, damn, fuck it. Yeah, let's go. Unless this specifically leads to some part I needed, I don't think I went in here. No, this is where you can go and you put the cure in the dude and it'll show that you... Oh, shit. I guess I'm guessing that the the these things just go away and that's yeah. about it. Yeah. It's not anything more than that, but it's a reason to pick up the cure and kind of see it in the action. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember you. Yeah, dude, this is sick. I don't remember even coming here. I mean, obviously it wasn't necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, if down here is one of the body parts, then I did come here. Oh man, that's just a foot. Well, there's fucking like hydrochloric acid and shit down here? Yeah, some really good material. Yeah, this is like some mid-grade material stuff. Alright, let's go get the penguin and get the cure and come back over here. Because the cure is literally like right over there. It's like a hundred feet from here. It's not far. Then you can done it. Yeah, man. Getting back here is not difficult because it's right at a fire thing. Yeah. Man, I was thinking to myself, this is going to be dumb. And then I got here and I was like, whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> Hold up, let's go. I don't have the penguin with me, right? No, you didn't bring it. No, I don't. Because you, you weren't planning on coming here. <laughs> All right, so back to this. If I continue to ra continue around, I'll come back out. So it's not, uh... Not the end of the world. Going through here now. So I'll hang up left. Yep, like that. I think this over here leads to the other section of the map, and that's why we kept getting lost. Is there's another section of the map where the worm is that's not on this map. And I think that's where one of the body parts is, is out in the worm area.
Unless it's right here. Right here. Yeah, I just accidentally stumbled upon it. <laughs> Two places. Nope, there's one place. Welcome aboard, Captain. made everything capable of, like, almost everything in the game can get the prawn through it. Alright, now we can drop off a few things, pick up the penguin, and go back. where your sister worked her final days on 4546B. It is quite isolated. Yeah, I know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere, but this is practically off the map. A lot of people would love to get paid to sit around and do nothing. And not Sam. She must have been miserable out here. And they have the nerve to call her negligent. I think they drove her to an extreme. They also motivated me to change my behavior. Because they drove you into hiding? I had calculated that they might be well placed to answer my distress signal. But I came to suspect their motivations were not aligned with mine. So you made yourself harder to find? It was a calculation.
dice. One, two, three, uh, four, five. Four, five. There we go. Okay, uh, why don't you, uh, dropped off. Ion cubes for like. There. Alright, I think that's it. Okay. Oh, let's go back. And cure that fool. Surprisingly busy on call week. I would say on average we get one call every like three weeks, and I've gotten two calls this week so far. I mean, neither of them have been difficult. There's one thing you should know about IT people, we are lazy. If we can find a quick, easy, and uh, uh, less physically active way of doing something, I guarantee you we will figure it out. We would rather sit in an office by ourselves and do nothing. like that makes for a long day. Did I say we, uh, well, I did say do nothing. I meant no, no, don't do work. I didn't mean do nothing. Hey, now I've got the blue ball. Alright, we definitely have to go back home and make it. Nope. Right around on it. Nope. <laughs> Where's the wall? We haven't come across it yet. here. Going undercover. Quartz and Magnetite. No thanks. I guess if you have dangerous gotten... weather approaching, seek shelter. Yeah, if I needed magnetite, that'd be a good place oh, to yeah. go. Yeah. 
Your son works in IT, he plays Dyson Sphere in between calls because he works from home. Yeah, see, that's the kind of thing. I'm usually sitting here watching, like, YouTube or Twitch in between calls. Okay, there's the water. So I need to ha hang on the right-hand side. I almost never play video games because I get too distracted easily with a video game. But like a YouTube video, if the phone rings, I can just easily pause it. Whereas a video game, I'll be all like, ah, somebody else will get it. And then I'm like, no, don't do that. That's a dick move. All right, so I don't know where this one is. it down. Ready for my assignment. Yeah, I think this is Sam must have stashed this here. She was gonna use this antibacterial agent to neutralize the bacterium. I'm like, eh. I gave up. <laughs> okay with that. Oh. Welcome aboard, Captain. Young, you always said you want to be one of those guys in the field turning wrenches. Now you're in your mid 40s, and that shit has changed. Yeah. I worked for about a year. I did uh, structured wiring in new construction homes. So, like, I would um, I would go into I would go into houses that were still in the in the stick stage. And run Cat5 and security wire and audio and telephone and stuff like that. And uh, I did that for about a year in South Texas. And after I got a job somewhere else, I was like, I do not want to do that again. Like, that sucked. Being in an attic for like four hours in the middle of the summer uh, with no circulation in a house that has no AC yet. Oh man, that shit sucked. <laughs> just literally just boiling alive. And then I was all like, desk job time. Yay! Oh, that's the gold stuff. Skadoosh. Okay. I'll go poke it.
Ew. I believe the antibacterial agent was effective. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. It feels good. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Closure is a sense of resolution. Like, knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Aw, oh, lame. Feelings are lame. Feelings are pretty lame. <laughs> Yeah. The little fingies down there. Yeah, I just find it really adorable. Alright, cool. So that's something I never did before. Yay. I actually kind of like the fact that I did that. I, I can't believe it was so easy. I got the cure last time, mm -hmm. and I could have just come over here and put it in, but I didn't know that this place existed. I think that's because the first time you came over here, you were always so worried about the ice worm guy. Which is understandable. Yeah, the Ice Worm dude sucked. But yeah, I think there's a body piece past the Ice Worm, too. So I've got to get past him. If not, just Google it. Google it with Bane. <laughs> yeah, that's G O O G L E. It with Bane. <laughs> Alright, let me look it up. I always knew which movies were getting paid by Microsoft and they were like, just bang it! And everyone was like, that's Nobody not says, a thing. Nobody says that. Just bang it! No. No. Below zero alien... Uh, tissue? Alan's Vessel. Here we go. Uh, I have the skeleton, the organs. Hmm. Organs are located in the crystal caves. That's where Kathy said to go. Tissue is located in the Arctic spires. Where's that? I've never heard of that. Arctic spires is an architect base in the Arctic spires. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Containing the tissues. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This cache can only be accessed if the player approaches it with Alan inside their head. It is located within a rocky enclosure surrounded by cluster clusters of luminous crystal growths. Uh, the cache boasts blah 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 blah. The coordinates? Can you do coordinates? Yes, the there's coordinates. Yes. yes. Coordinates are three, three, six, nine. Hey. Those are the coordinates. No. Let me write these down. That sounds terrible, Baka. I wouldn't want any part of that. My my room growing up had a lot of sun, so we put foil on it to kind of cool it down and. It definitely worked. It doesn't look pretty from the outside having tin foil on your windows, but it cooled my room down probably like 10 degrees. It was crazy. That was one of the things that <laughs> when we got new management at this apartment, a lot of people had foil on their windows. And, and that was like, one of the first things they were like, no foil on your windows. Take the foil off your windows. We didn't have it, but that's when we went and got blackout curtains. Because we were like, well... Alright, 
so I got the coordinates. Pause. That's why I'd like if we ever get a house to get like those shutters that are like where you can fully close them. Yeah. Uh negative one thousand twenty one and seven twenty. Oh wow, it is not near here. Hey, okay, but you know what? Let's start. So it it's over If that's XYZ, right? Uh if that's XYZ then my Z position is off by about sixteen hundred. Okay, so God, I hit M like I've got a freaking map in this game. That's the one thing I really wanted. I mean, you technically do have a map, but it's not like not good. Not good. Like, it's not like you can like look at it and be like, "Oh, this is the map I want to go For any of those? I mean, if your goal is to make it to the water, that should be Yeah, because, like, I'm getting closer to my Z direction. Okay. You have to ask, you can't afford it. <laughs> but yeah, apparently it's not here. Probably back here, and I'm up here. Because I'm across the bridge. So I think I need to go back across the bridge. Oh no, I'm down here and it's up here. That's what it is. Because I'm near Fire Robotics. I need to cross the bridge and go north. That's what it is. That's where the alien is. That's bananas, girl. I like that the prawn doesn't take fall damage. I'm assuming it's because it's got jets. I mean, they showed what's in the marker that way, so I guess they could like... I mean, they could have made it so that you took damage, but that would have been pretty lame. Yeah, agreed. So I think what I do, what I'm gonna do is once I get these parts, when I go to get the other ones, since the other ones are near the um, the fabricator for the parts, I think I'll probably look up what components are necessary to make them and just take them with me. That way I can make all three components down there. I don't blame you. Pick up the last one, make all three, because I know once you make three, you have to leave again. I feel like this is one of those things that like you did everything but just the first time. So it's like eh. It seems more like fetch quests than the first game did. Yeah, Because I think, I, think... I think the problem is, is a lot of these areas are really, really difficult to get to. 
compared to the first game. Like, even if you're, even if you've played this before, getting past this stupid fucking worm is annoying as hell. Alright, so I saved at the beginning, and we walked like six steps, so it's fine. Uh, I think it's back here. So I think if I just hug the left wall and keep going, I'll reach it, because I think that's the entrance. Just put your hand on the left wall. <laughs> oh my god, Cammy. Oh, I don't remember. I have to go back. I have to go back to my notes for you. But I know when I was watching uh, David play Minecraft, he was talking about this thing for like, he always puts torches down on like the right side of the map. Yeah. And or like on the right wall, and he never puts them on the floor or anything because then it makes keeping. You just have to have it on the opposite wall. And I thought that was really ingenious, with, like because I would just get lost and then just dig straight up. <laughs> um, but I think his method's way better. Yeah, his method was smart. No, it really was, and I was like, damn, I feel dumber now. Whoa. I'm like here. Sorry. Yeah, there's the bridge. So I'm like here. I don't think anybody enjoys dealing with the worm. No. I feel like every streamer I watch for this I'm not a of zero when they get to the part where they gotta deal with the worm. You just get really angry. Yeah, we're just we're just real which direction I'm heading north. That's good. Cause the worm sucks. The worm moves like five times faster than anything else in the game. Uh, the snow fox even can't outrun it. Bro, oh, no, you just you used the snow fox last time and you would have to destroy the snow fox. Yeah, because he would dismount you from the snow fox, and then you'd have to go pick up the snow fox. It would have had a better time if it would be to start the Not the safest method, but it was... It's the easiest, because he can't kick you out of the prawn suit. I think I'm like right around here. It, but we're gonna check. Nope. Can the prawn fit through that? Looks like it can. Well, from the board, Captain. Oh, yeah. Don't five damage. Then. That's not so bad. Oh, 
don't think he can come down here. Ah, uh, that is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves? Where your eyelashes should be. That's Of hyper focus. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not fun. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Accidental find. Well, now we're going home. I can't make the items. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to gather the items. I'm going to gather the components for the items, yes. That's what I meant. Okay. second everybody I'm gonna step away for just a sec I will be right back Is it a poop? no no
I'm sorry, what's that? I'm not gonna clean it. You're not gonna clean it. Oh. Ah! What's that on you? My last thing I want to do is get home and find out I'm like two iron cube short or something. So let's just get all of them. Yeah, recycle all my batteries and shit. Yeah, that's true. to the crevasse that goes to the bridge. Oh, Alright, Gabby, listen here. <laughs> Missy! You're supposed to be on my side. I was like, no, that's not fun. like they made that area with the worm solely to give the snow fox a purpose. Yeah. I think that's the problem too, is they're like, people love this, like let's that's that's put a really hard worm. But hey, you get a cool motorcycle and in theory it is cool. Yeah, yeah. Like in theory it works. Mm -hmm. In reality it doesn't. Uh, it's just kind of like, Pretty much everybody I've ever talked to that's ever played this game is like, I don't like the surface, I don't like the snow fox, I don't like the worm. Don't like reading. And the only other, yeah, the only other complaint I ever heard is this game doesn't go deep enough. Because they're like, we wanted to go deeper and they made it to where now the game is shallow. And it's like, that, what? No. The opposite of what we wanted. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. You have found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. Hmm. They wanted to save the other peoples. As well as the I mean, I have something important to share. As well as themselves. Another artifact. 
Yes, although... You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Wow, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Signal location uploaded to PDA. Might be the last one. Pull this out. All right, <clears throat> so. Polyaniline, three diamonds, plastic ingot. Can you pin it? You know what? What? You're smart. No. All right, um. Three diamond, two pustules. What they're called? Uh, I need that. Do I have any polyaniline in here? I don't, but I have hydrochloric acid, which is needed for polyaniline. And gold. Okay. There was gold and copper. Alright, so... I think it's five? Five? some gold. Fire robotics. So let's go make the uh, benzyl peroxide or polyaniline. That's it. All right now, the other question is what does. I 
have Arctic Spires, Spires, so that's not what I want. One ion cube, okay. three kyanite, and two of those battery plants. One ion cube, kyanite, and two battery plants. Those. These things. I should have everything I need to make the three body parts. One, two, three, one, 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 two, three, one, 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 two, three, one, one, two. Okay, that's correct. Okay. Wait. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, well, that's everything. Alright, so everything is in there. Caravan's bed. He had a cool bed spread. It had Ghost Leviathan on it. Yeah. Snow Fox jump module. The Snow Fox. All right. But really, all I've got is home base, prawn suit, and the new artifact, which may or may not be the body part, but it may just be an artifact being like, oh, this has got info in it about our species. That's okay. Got the other coordinates written down here. Negative, it's 828 meters below. So that's a good start. 828. So I'm not even gonna start looking about my X and Y uh, axis until my depth is is close. Like I'll start looking at around 700 or something. If I'm like like at 300, it's like well, <laughs> doesn't matter what my X and Y is. Yeah, he'll mention you're getting close. Oh, my butt's tingling. He says stuff like that. He's weird. Guess he would just make your butt tingle. Well, oh, yeah, that's a good point. He is inside me. Crystal Caves are over near uh, Marguerite. Yeah. This is heading in that direction. Let's go towards Marguerite first. was a splorch if I've ever heard one.
517 and then negative 700. I'm at negative 700. Said it was in the purple crystal. Okay. I'm not far from it. I'm only like 150 away. Senses. And yet I feel certain there is something important to be there. A facility or a body component. Perhaps not. I cannot tell. There is definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. Wait, I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, <laughs> sorry. He was talking at the same time. Hey, I found it. Yeah, dude. I think we said that last time. Two robot bros! Hey, fellas. You will be able to construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. You have scanned all the components we need to make a storage, uh, 
my body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes. I gotta go up first, but... Close, fam. I'm just picking up extra components now, like I'm gonna need them. Get shit on, nerd. place I need to go, well not the last place, but the, the next place I need to go is Red Crystal. It's further, further down. I don't know, well I get there from this general vicinity, yes, but I don't know if it's like next to this or if I have to go back a ways or something, but it is in here somewhere. is the way out. That's not that is correct. So it's probably east. At least we know west is we out. Here, boys. Hi, 
I only need to come here once. Yeah, before we did. That's nice cool though. Yeah, it does. We'll give them that. Some of these environments look really No, good. no. Th that's that is not what they need to worry about as far as like quality fixing. Yeah. This is not a problem. The environments that they can make are uh amazing. Yeah, little butthole trees. Binkies. It's bink trees. I sense the presence of a substantial facility in the area. I'm unable to identify. <laughs> find the facility first. It's around here. It's very close. Yeah. Because it's around him. I think it might just be around here. Behind you. Go up. Now. Go, go over that thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Jesus. I usually planted the guy way back here. Yeah, because he couldn't really get in this. Um, but still save and take all the stuff with you. One, two, three. Uh, one of those. Kyanite? I think it was three kyanite. I'm gonna take... It's fine. Just... Last time you just parked right in front of the door. Once yeah. you've used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. <laughs> the process requires you to build each component before you can assemble the whole. So, Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. <laughs> if that is your interpretation. So, how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind. My body. Perhaps you should build the next component. So you came here to search for a cure? I led the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. <laughs> this is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. Commence installation is in fabrication. The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body.
commencing the transfer. Purple. Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Whoa. Hey. He waved. You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But? It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out. Affecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Him, I was really scared he was a bad guy. Me too, dude. Me too. All right, let's get out of here. Me out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy members. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, rocks.
Say lol, get dodged. All right, let's, let's progress all the way out of here before we heal again. Even if he attacks me one more time, don't be alright. I remember coming down to this red area like three or four times our first playthrough. Because I, I didn't know when I needed to come down here and do what. Then you were a little annoyed that you came all the way down here and didn't have all the materials. That was one of the nice things about the previous game, even though the facility with this dragon was pretty far down, there was a teleport area which was pretty close to it. Yeah, and none of the teleporters work in this game. You can't activate any of them. Like, there's like three or four scattered throughout, but none of them work. <laughs> And I'm cool with none of them working until, like, Alan gets in my head, you know? It's the whole concept that I know a lot of people have talked about, where it's like, it's... It feels really bad as a gamer for a game to give you abilities and then in the next game they just completely remove it. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like not having armor in in the prawn suit in this game. Uh, it's like why would you take that away? Like I'm here off. Like, you're not supposed to be up this high. Get out of here. But it's like, in the first game, we were there just accidentally. The ship exploded. Yeah. You know, we shouldn't have been prepared. In this game, we knew about the, the planet. We knew there were aliens here because of Subnautica 1. So the ship should have come prepared. So you'd think, I should have the armor ability on my, uh, on my dealy bomber. But for some reason, they were just like, nah. You ain't gonna need that. I guess they gave you, like, oh, we took away the submarine, so we gave you the, like, truck that has a bunch of, like... Add-ons. Add-ons Now that, stuff. that I don't necessarily mind. Well, the sea truck had a electric 
it had out. it had a uh, what's it called like a self defense module. Marguerite's just in there reading, not caring that I'm stomping on her glass roof. I think that was, that's another one of like the complaints. There were some step backs that were a little frustrating. Yeah, they felt unnecessary. Like it's okay. Like I'm not I'm not referring to games like Metroid where. In the previous game, you had a full set of armor and all these special upgrades and stuff like that. And the beginning of the the game, you lose all your abilities, but you get to get them back, like as the current game progresses. That I can understand. Yeah. That makes like from a from a gaming perspective, that makes sense. But for the ability to just be removed from the game entirely, that doesn't. Manufacture more cure. <laughs> you know, if you only need the one, I guess it's if you accidentally throw it away. I guess, yeah, like, if you. I mean, last game it was even more useless to us because we never used it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So we had two copies of the, of the cure and it was just like. I think I took him with me to the phase gate because I was all like, maybe you'll have to wait over there. I thought he was going to ask for them, because that was the whole point, but then he didn't. It would have been really nice if they, they had had a, li a line of dialogue from him, where he said, like, hey, did you, are you sure you didn't want to, like, follow up with the cure and your sister? Oh, yeah. Because then we would have been like, what? what? Wait, what? Yeah, I, I would like to do that. Okay, well, I'll wait here until you finish that. And, and then you'd be like, oh, I still have something else to do. No, was very cool. Yeah, no, my sister still. <laughs> I got the cat picture. I think that's the most important part. I like how the cat had a freaking robotic arm. <laughs> it's... Come on. No, I think it's adorable. No, I know, I'm just saying, like, come on, that's just it's so dumb adorable. It is. This is it, five robotics. I also think that was sort of one of the things of like hearing the, the stuff for your sister and all of that. Technically, all of that was optional. Like everything in the first game you had to do. It was yeah. Towards curing yourself. Yeah, you had to cure. You had to cure the sea dragon empress. Uh, you had so that she would help cure you. Uh, and also, you didn't get the blueprints to the, uh, no, wait, no, you got the blueprints to the ship before that, but it wouldn't help you, because if you built it, it would get blown up. Right, you had to release her baby. You had to hatch her babies, release, uh, give them a way to, to get out of the teleport area, to poop out the door. I don't need that. Uh... Why robotics? Am I going somewhere else? I want to see what I'm crossing. Before we built the body?
Oh, that's right. I crossed the bridge and came over here. That's right. It also wasn't fire robotics, this was uh, zero. I went the wrong way. Or I was thinking I was going the wrong way. I went the right way. Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where Architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry. If they live at all. Or you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. Yeah. I just want to go hug some. Come back when I'm like 80. Alright, I'm ready to go. <laughs> He's like, wow, that took a while. He's like, you don't age the same as I do. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, I just. Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the home world safe, in hopes that the others survived. Yeah. The energy masks must be moved into place. Well, this is different. It's been a while, huh? Yeah, it has. Get ripped. Oh, no. Oh. God, be careful, Robin. Damn. Very good. Return to me, and I will initiate ship assembly. You're going to take your arms back, aren't you? Thank you. Oh. 
The masks are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. But as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. The purple! Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yes. I found the answers I was looking for. I'm ready to move on. I can't bring Sam back. But I know she died fighting, and I got to finish her work. I'll always carry her memory. I did that this time. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. That was worth, by the way. Yeah. I'm glad I did it. Launching in three, two, one. Like copper ore. Oh, what? Right through what my face. What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of ten thousand souls dimly. Rip. Yeah. Wow, bummer, bro. If they survived? With you, I am ready to face whatever awaits. This is what they're gonna face. <laughs> Probably. For science. Yeah. He ain't. I did it. Good job. Oh, just leave it there. I'll take care of it later. You can unplug though. You're ready. Yeah, there's no. I don't. There's no sun. No, no, no. Well, that was below zero. You know, it completely ignoring the snow fox and only going up to the surface when absolutely necessary made the game a little better. I agree. I I, I liked it better this time. Because the snow fox for me and dealing with the worm and making the thumper and being really frustrated. That was super sucky. Yeah. So if you just omit as much of that as possible, it's uh it's it's it's, <laughs> it's still not quite as good as the first. No. But I it think is not a good one is But better. it's better than I would give it credit for. So like now I would say if Subnautica 1, Subnautica 1 is like almost a perfect game. I would give it like a 9.5. I would give this at least an 8.5. I'm interested to see where they're going to go from here because we were in the water twice and now we're at an alien city or yeah. alien to us. Right. But seemingly... Are those... they, the question is, are they going to address that or are they just going to say new planet, new story? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe this is on hold and it'll be like, new water planet, who dis? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Regardless, even if it's not underwater, I would still be interested in seeing it. Oh yeah, I'd still play it.
it's very rare that a sequel is better than um, the initial game. There are a few situations where it d where that is the case. Mass Effect, for example. Mass Effect is getting better. Mass Effect Two was better than one, and I felt like Mass Effect Three was better than two. I know that's that's a debatable argument on that one, but yeah, you like three, two, one. I like them. I like them three, two, one, Andromeda. And again, they're rated like nine point five, nine, eight point five, eight. So it's like they're all exceptional games. The only reason that Andromeda got smashed on pretty hard was the uh, was the graphical problems, really. They really need to learn from that lesson and not release games with a shitload of graphical issues. Everything else about the game was pretty good. 